Hi and welcome to another video here from the windowcleaningstore.com. Today we're going to take a look at some basic water-fed window cleaning techniques. We're going to be doing the windows that you see behind me here. It is a residential property, but because it's like an apartment complex, you'll see that the windows are a little bit like residential windows, a little bit like commercial windows. So we're just going to show you the basic technique today. Now one of the first things I want to say about doing water-fed window cleaning work is you're not trying to spray the dirt off the glass. You're using the brush and the water to agitate the dirt, get it loose, and then rinse it off. In fact, if you've got a DI system or you're running, uh, you're drawing from a pump, uh, you don't want to use too much water. You need about a foot of water coming out of the brush, that's out of the pencil jets before it falls off. If it's shooting out two, three, four, five feet, that's way too much water. You're just wasting water. And of course, if you're using DI only, you're going to burn through your filter much faster. So like I said, just about a foot or so out of the water before it starts to fall down. That's a perfect amount of water. Okay, so dirt will accumulate mostly at the top of the windows between cleanings because it's running down from the frame as well as the bottom of the window. Throughout cleanings, dirt settles down at the bottom. After doing the top and bottom, then you want to do it like a W pattern. I'm going to go a couple of times. And because these are commercial style frames, and windows you want to do that moly in there separating and you can even do a little bit of the window below these windows are pretty dirty so I wanted to give them a good scrub and we're up at the top we want to lift the brush back and then we're going to zigzag back and forth across the glass rinsing the dirt off one of the other things we could have done, because this is a, if you have a wider window, is you can chase the water down one area, so you're dividing the window up. And there we go. And rinse that back, that bottom mullion. There we go. Now this window here is more like a typical residential window. So we're going to do the frames first. There we go. Again, the top and bottoms are usually the dirtiest areas. We give those a really good clean. And now we'll skip over here. We'll leave the bottom windows for a little bit later. The final point I'd like to leave you with is that you must use a methodical approach to scrubbing and rinsing of the glass thoroughly. It's not a magic wand, but with the right technique, you'll get as good a job as any scrubber and squeegee.